the light of Hashem, the real source of light, is breaking to the sides and reflecting a great, great rainbow of shades and colors. And every individual on earth, first of all, he himself is a beam of light. He is an expression of the godly soul within him. And as well, we're also a vessel to receive and to contain blessings from other people around us. Like the crystal prism that is breaking the light to the sides and then colorful lights in so many bright colors are shining to all sides and to all directions. When we say one word of faith, one honest, simple word to our friends, it breaks to million angles and it shines the world in so many ways that we can never imagine. Let's say that now you met your friend and you just told him, hey, brother, what's going on? How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. And that's it. And he told you as well and you hugged each other and you went away. Can you imagine how huge is the impact, the effect, the positive shine that you dropped by him just now? Can you imagine how thirsty he was to see a loving friend, a positive smiling face? Can you know how positive and healing and stabilizing and curing was that hug, that smile, that bright light that shined towards him from your eyes when you looked at him and honestly said, I'm so happy to see you. I was thinking about you. Simple words. Now he will walk for a long way and he will keep on shining that positive light that you gave him to hundreds of people in hundreds of situations. And he will shine that light to his loved ones and also to people that he doesn't even aware to their existence. People will look at him and he will shine a greater light because that now he walks with that glow that you planted into his heart. And you can do that beautiful thing thousands of times each day. And you don't need to meet thousands of people. Because when you just say to Hashem in prayer, in an in individual prayer, Ana Hashem Oshiana, please Hashem save us. Can you know and tell me how many lives you just saved? Do you know what happens when you give a coin for charity? It's written that charity will save from death. Tzedakah tatzil mimavet. Now you gave charity. Can you imagine how many lives you saved? You don't have a clue. It doesn't have to be a life of a Jew or a life of an Israeli person. It can be a life of a squirrel. It can be a life of a bird. It can be a life of a kitten, of a lost puppy. It can be a life of a horse. It can be a life of a flower. It can be the general life of creation that you're saving with your simple coin that you gave for charity. You can never know and estimate the greatness and the power of one mitzvah. If someone is creating, building a factory and he invested one million dollar into that factory, that factory must make at least one million and one for it to be worth the effort of building it. So if Hashem created the world, the whole world, with all the lands, all the states, all the amazing seas, all the sunrises and all the sunsets, all the animals, all the birds, all the flies, all the trees, all the forces of nature, the physicality and the spirituality, all the aspects of it, for the cause of us keeping Torah and Mitzvot. The reward and the outcome of keeping one Mitzvah must be more than all this world's worth in general. 
means that the reward for one mitzvah that you kept going to be more joyful and enjoyable and satisfying for you than to sit and watch all the sunrises and all the sunsets that ever took place in the world since the time of creation. Because the Maker, when He created the world, He created the world for us to keep the Torah, for us to be able to shine the light of Hashem towards our loved ones. And when you do that, you keep the purpose and you aim to the real reason and meaning of the creation of the world. And it must be profitable. It must make more than the investment and the greatness of the reward of the true servant of Hashem. On it, it's written, Ein lo elokim zulatecha. No eye saw that reward. It does not have place in this world. Sachar mitzvot be'alma den leka. There is no way to pay the reward for mitzvot in this world because the reward itself is greater than this world this world cannot contain the reward because the reward on one mitzvah is greater than all the wealth and beauty and prosperity and pleasure that exist in this world not for the individual for the whole creation we need to understand the Maker did something very, very big here on earth. There is a great system here that is designed and built for such a great elevation, for such great redemption and salvation. Something that's going to be so, so, so wild that we can never imagine. Think about it for one minute. We're talking about a complete redemption for the whole wide world where all people are joining, uniting together towards the house of Hashem, the house of prayer that will be called the house of prayer for all nations. And everyone will walk hand in hand in great peace with mutual respect and deep connection and understanding for each and everyone's roles and purpose in creation, will walk together to see the face of Hashem in His home, in His house, in the temple of Hashem in Yerushalayim. And then, after seeing His face and accepting the yoke of heaven in perfection, being, of course, guided and welcomed by Mashiach Tzidkenu, the real king of people, that he will take all the nations together to accept the face of God. When we will see the face of Hashem in that time, we will see the greatness of the supervision of Hashem on us in the past. And by understanding the lesson of everything we went through, a gate will be open for all of us to access to 1000 years of redemption. 1,000 years of prosperity with no death, with no sorrow, with no pain, with no darkness, of complete redemption, complete salvation to all aspects of our lives, to our lives and to the lives of all our loved ones in this lifetime and in the resurrection of the dead means for all the people who ever lived on earth. Everyone will live together in the same present time enjoying the great prosperity and amazing blessing of the mercifulness and kindness and unconditional love of our Maker towards us for 1,000 years. Okay, so now we can think to ourselves that we can imagine that salvation. Oh man, it's going to be so great. But I'm asking you, after you're going to be answered to all your prayers, that all the salvations that you desire today will be sent to you on a silver plate. Then what? After one hour of that salvation, after one day, after one month of that great redemption, that you have everything and anything you ever dreamed for, now what are you going to do? You're going to ask for more. For what? What can we ask today that will not be answered in the day of redemption? So it means that in the day of redemption, you'll be answered and you also will be answered and blessed with greater knowledge, greater understanding 
to ask for things and f to desire for things that today you're not even aware for their existence. And what's going to happen after those prayers will be answered? And then when the next level of prayers will be answered? And after one year of redemption and two years of redemption, and you have another 998 years of eternity, the spiritual uh, development and elevation that we will experience is something that our mind cannot grasp, cannot understand at all. And we can only hope to be worthy for His unconditional, endless loving kindness to wash and purify and clean and bless us all to exist and to stand honest, truthful, loyal, loving and good in that position of receiving the face of Hashem, united all nations as one with Hashem, allowing ourselves to accept the real true Mashiach and rejecting all false Mashiach pretenders and to stand in front of Hashem with a happy heart and a wishing soul, standing tall, proud, proud of ourselves with high self-esteem for having the merit to stand in that position, in that amazing scene and time, and into eternity with a great smile and great happiness on our faces. And that is the reward that is waiting for those ones who are walking in the darkness like we are today, aiming their hearts with good intentions like we are today, doing the best that they can like we are today, and sacrificing like we are today. May Hashem bless us all and allows us to enjoy His unconditional love and His great mercy with all our loved ones and with all the good and honest souls united as one. Amen. <laughs>